conference. Uh, the Knights played South Carolina State last Saturday. UCF won the game 38-0. to uh, UCF is on the road for the second time in three weeks as the Knights visit North Carolina Saturday. Game is scheduled for noon Eastern on ESPNU. Uh, Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the game against South Carolina State, please. And obviously, uh, whether it could play a factor in the game coming up uh, this, this coming Saturday, but your thoughts on the uh, potential matchup here with North Carolina. Yeah, uh, uh, excited that, uh, again, our kids were able to focus, go 1-0 and on the week. Um, thought defensively, uh, played extremely well. Uh, anytime you hold the opponent to, to nothing on the scoreboard, you're doing a lot of things right. Defensive line play was great, penetrated, played on the other side of the line of scrimmage, got after the quarterback. Uh, we were able to create three turnovers again for the, the second straight week. Uh, thought we played really well in, 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 the, in the back end as well and, and played good situational football. Um, you know, a couple of turnovers on the offensive side of the ball put them in, in tough situations. Uh, they handled the sudden change really well and, and uh, was excited about that. Thought our special teams played really well. All of our cover units performed well. And, uh, and our punt return <coughs> had, a, had a big play that, that helped set up a score as well. Uh, like the way those units are continuing to grow. And, and uh, did a lot of really positive things on offense, too. Just want to eliminate the turnovers. Uh, but again, you, you're you know this week we're over 300 yards rushing again. So I uh, like what our front five and our tight ends are doing, and obviously you have explosive running backs as well. So excited about that. Uh, excited about the opportunity to go up to, to North Carolina and play. Obviously there there's some uh, weather that uh, is outside of our control. Uh, we're preparing as a program like uh, we're going to play the game, and and uh, our kids are off to that start this week. We'll take questions for Coach Heupel, please. Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue. Then we will introduce you. I think our first question from Dan Totoro from WakeUpDT.com. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Good. To uh, look at the talent of Adrian Killens, Jr., three touchdowns in these first couple games, just what you can say about his ability, his explosiveness, one of the guys that was already there when you came in, just what you can take away from him. Yeah, I mean, he's as explosive as anybody in, in college football, just talking about his speed. Uh, he's got really good vision and, and patience for a guy that has that type of speed as well. Uh, you know, slow through the hole and, and then it explodes uh, once he's in, once he's in the hole. So, um, you know, he's a smart football player, continuing to grow and and uh, just you know he's a dynamic playmaker for us. And in the first couple games, in, in each of those six players on the team have gained 30 or more rushing yards in both of those games. Just what you can say about spreading the ball out and having so many different options to have at least six players per game at this point with 30 yards or more on the ground. Yeah, we we have a deep backfield. And all those guys are competing hard with each other for, for more and more touches. Um, some similar skill sets and at the same time some differences between them. Um, but uh, they're all good catching the ball. The backfield, they're all good in protections. And uh, they're a group that, that really care about one another, too. They're, they're genuinely excited for the other guy when he's in there and, and, and does something positive. So uh, a really good group to be around, a lot of competition. Which makes, it, makes it fun out on the practice field as well and, and a really dynamic group. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Yep. Moving on, we'll take our next question from Leo Haggerty from It Sports Magazine. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. Coach, after your first couple of games, what's your biggest concern you still have about your football team? I, I think, uh, you know, for us as a program, one of the things we stress every single day is it's about us. We're in a race against ourselves to become as good as we can, as fast as we can. Uh, so just, you know, stay in, stay in the course of, of having great purpose when we walk in the building, uh, being great in our, our fundamentals and our, in our technique and continue to grow within our schemes. We're two weeks uh, into that. And, um, you know, so then staying hungry and, and have a great purpose in, in the way we prepare. So those are the things that we continue to harp on, continue to, to want to make strides in. And, and uh, as long as our kids continue to buy into that, we're going to continue to grow each week. Thank you, coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coach, thanks for your time today. We look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday. All right. Sounds good.